me well, right? The mic is working. Okay, namaste students. Um, sorry about the little delay um, in starting the session. We had too many technical stuff to set up. And uh, this is one of my favorite series, a very interesting series. Great composers of Carnatic music. And uh, in this series, we have done a few series earlier. You can also watch. Whoever is on the Facebook group can watch it. Um, go back and watch. All the sessions which we have done earlier is there. So you can uh, please make sure you watch it. That way, in these sessions, I, I, I take little extra effort and, uh, uh, you know, because I love to do this and I also want you to make the best use of it. So that's why for this week, I'm not doing any class. I just want all the students to attend this. I also want to welcome all the new students who have joined. There are many students who joined online. And uh, I'm really happy that... Uh, uh, the, uh, they're spreading the word and uh, you know many uh, uh, friends they always talk about it and uh, they check it out and then they like it and they join they ask a few questions usually if they are some overseas students so many students from India have joined I'm really happy uh, there's one new student from UK and uh, another student from uh, Middle East I think so I, I'm really happy about that. Uh, this is this was one of my dreams that many should you make use of my uh, teaching, and uh, and I think this is the best thing ever happened. So without uh, much, let me jump into it because there's a lot of things, and this series can go on forever. I have collected a lot of great music and I will also play some nice music of great compositions of great composers so in this session my goal is uh, I have made a list I have already told this in many of my series lectures the main thing is I want um, um, come sit, sit look at me so that you can also don't hide behind yeah you close it um, what I want to two things I want to accomplish I want you to understand any student, there are vocal students, Veena students, violin students, Murdangam students are there. All the students, you should know about the music you are playing and the composers, you are, uh, the compositions. Little bit about the composition, you know, each composition has some story to it. So the composer would have composed on some rare occasion. Uh, I, I selected few compositions like that. Uh, there are some compositions where um, you know, even the composer ha might have composed uh, the 800,000 Krithis, but some of them are his favorite Krithis, <coughs> which he will sing again and again and again. So I want to play those kind of compositions for you, uh, that way you understand. And um, uh, that is one thing. The other thing what I want to do is, you, Carnatic music is mainly listening Practicing, listening, practicing, learning, listening, learning, practicing, listening, learning, practicing, repeat this. This is the whole thing. You have to listen. First thing, you know, any, like you listen to any movie song, if it is good, you hum it, right? You, you, the tune sticks to your mind and then you uh, whistle it or hum the tune. Like that, Carnatic music also should become like that. There are many, many beautiful compositions. So it takes, it is like a coffee, you know, it, takes little time to get used to it and then once you love it then you can really appreciate all those intricacies great styles like Veena Madanama style or uh, uh, you know Brinda Mukta style all that it takes time um, first even I remember uh, somebody uh, the very first time somebody played uh, um, what, uh, MD Ramanathan MDR the first time somebody played MD Ramanathan, I didn't like it. I said, totally I was against it. Ah, this doesn't appeal to me. I was like, I, I, for me, good quality of recording and all that was more important for me rather than quality of music. So MDR didn't appeal to me beginning. And then they, everybody is saying so great things about MDR. We call MDR MD Ramanathan. 
uh, now YouTube is the thing. Everything is available on YouTube. You really don't need big hard drives, collections, and all that. So, but I have collected all this. I have categorized all Tyagaraja, all Dikshita, all Shama Shastri, all other composers. I have collected in this hard drive, uh, which will be eventually available for all of you. I want to share whatever I have with all of you. So you will get eventually. Uh, it takes a lot. I need a little resources i need help to categorize label it's tag it's it's a lot of work but anyway um, i will get that maybe i need a little more volume you, you can hear me right yeah, for hello yeah that's hello you can hear me yeah. okay so this is okay hello this is good right? okay so uh, my goal for this session is we will do many sessions like this because one session i can't cover much i can cover some of my favorite critics some of the critics i like but uh, there are many many critics which i want to uh, capture uh, at least you should learn and then like uh, uh, badri was saying moksha bugalada can you please teach me yeah that's a fantastic i think that's one of the greatest critics of uh, tyagaraja you know he, he has done many many uh, every one of it is a gem but there are some special ones like saramati in moksha mukhalada he was asking this morning can you i just love that uh, kriti and um, of course i want to teach it to all of you so um, let me uh, the main thing what i want to all the students to get out of this is first thing you need to know about the composers all the composers at least few songs from every composer that is one thing first thing it is okay if you cannot learn all the composers even i don't know there are like thousands of compositions i don't know i know a few popular ones because we play instrumental music we play flute we don't want to play at all rare 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 you know people won't appreciate people won't even know what song we are playing so we want to play everybody knows and the roman about okay she the saga shaira like that popular list is there a popular top i have actually made 250 popular kritis top 250 kritis so that is what everybody plays everybody sings and you know one or two rare kritis here and there is fine but um, you should eventually in a couple of years in two years or so you should listen to all these top 250 kritis that should be your goal first first goal students and students like this if you start listening you can listen to it multiple times and in that list you will have your own favorite set list maybe 50 kritis 30 kritis your most favorite kritis like moksha mukhalada nagu mom all that that will stick to you and then you really want to learn learn that um, i still remember my dad wanted me to learn nagu mom hey play nagu mom nagu mom was his favorite song so like that everybody uh, you don't have to be a carnatic musician to appreciate carnatic music love the songs of carnatic music so you can eventually uh, develop your own favorite songs that's what i want you to develop if you are completely unaware of what is going on and just coming to class and learning kriti after kriti it's not going to help you need to explore and find what appeals to you what kind of kritis some students they want heavy saveri todi bhairavi that kind of style heavy carnatic danyasi they like i have seen many students saveri i hate saveri don't teach me saveri i was i had a student like that she said saveri doesn't resonate with me at all i don't want saveri she said please don't teach me saveri i don't like that raga like that uh, you know very openly she, she said that's fine like so it really doesn't work for some reason but you should at least know what is good it is like a buffet table you should check check all the items on the table and see what you like and then have more of that whatever you like you should learn more of that so that is my goal then the second part to it is great composers of carnatic music so great composers composition compositions performed by great legends so you will be exposed to great legends so i have already given a list i will tell once again for vocal 
Shamunguri, I have told this in last session also. He is the Bhishma Pitamaha. He lived like 90 years, 90 plus years, and he was singing till the day he died. So he is considered a great, very great musician. So Shamunguri, if anybody, anybody who learns, who listens to Carnatic music, will would have listened to Shamunguri. So they might ask, hey, have, did you listen? Uh, this Kriti of, by Shemangudi, Pankajalochana by Shemangudi. If you have no clue who Shemangudi is, then, then you are not a good music student. Your teacher didn't do a good job. So don't bring that name to me. I want you to know that Shemangudi exists, is immortal in the field of Carnatic music. So Shemangudi, Srinivas Ayer. Shemangudi is the uh, name of the town, but you know, eventually, People, we call it Lalgudi, Shamangudi. So Shamangudi Srinivas Iyer in vocal, you should not miss. Of course, Maharaj Parameshwanath Iyer also very good. Maharaj Parameshwanath Iyer, Shamangudi Srinivas Iyer, Ariyakudi Ramana Jayangar. These three are old timers. But for me, my favorite is Shamangudi Srinivas Iyer. You, you can start from Shamangudi. Shamangudi Srinivas Iyer, Jayan Balasubramaniam, D.K. Jayaraman, D.K. Patapad, Hyderabad Brothers, Nedanuri Krishnamurti, T. V. Shankar Narayanan, T. N. Sheshagopalan. I stop there. I don't go. T. M. Krishna, Sanjay Subramanian, Bombay Day, Sri Sudhar. They are all my contemporaries. I don't listen to They also listen to these guys. So, no point in listening to them. If you like, that is fine. Your personal choice. But I don't listen to them. They are singing whatever. They also go back and listen to GNB, S. Kalyan Raman. Hyderabad brothers, whatever they are singing, D K J Raman, uh, these these are this is the kind of music everybody top tier like all my contemporaries listen. All of them they listen and they sing, they add this little bit here and there. But you don't have to really, if you really uh, if you are serious, I would suggest start with Chemangudi, G N B, uh, Madre Mani Ayer, Nedanuri Krishnamurthy, D K J Raman, D K Patamal, M L Vasant Kumari, M S Amma. T. N. Shishkopalan, T. V. Shikarani. Stop there. And then uh, in female, like I told, uh, M. S. Subhlakshmi, M. L. Vasanta Kumari, and uh, these two are my favorites. So, D. K. Patamad. In female, if you want to listen, please listen, these three. Of course, in instrumental music, flute is my thing. And for me, Mali sir is the ultimate. He is he will be the ultimate, no, no matter whoever plays flute afterwards in future too. So he is the ultimate Mali sir. Listen to Mali sir, T.R. Maharingam. Then of course my Guru Ramani sir. And then since I am teaching you and I teach the compositions the way I play, it's a good idea uh, to listen to me. Don't think that I am promoting myself because it's easy because the way I play, that's the way I teach and that's how I give you the notation. So if you listen to how I play in a concert, that's a good idea. Then you get to know how, how it can work and all that. So that's another uh, favorite musician of mine is Mandalin Shinvas. I like to listen to him because when I grew up, uh, I grew up, he was a big prodigy and all that. And he's also a good friend of mine. I've played with him. He's such a nice person. So Mandalin Shinvas, I listen. Murdangam Palgat Mani Ayer, Kare Kudi Mani, Umayal Param Shivaman, Guru Ayur Dharai, TK Murthy, they are all great legends, so you can listen to all of them. Uh, and then uh, Veena, of course, Balachandra is my favorite. You should listen to Emari Shankara Shastri and Balachandra. These two are great legends. If you listen to them, everything else is available. Of course, in female, I forgot Brinda Mukta. They are really awesome. So, Actually, I was talking to this Hyderabad brother and he was saying how much he was inspired by their music. So, Brinda Mukta is a great town. Um, uh, that is Abhina Janamal school. And for that school, Brinda Mukta are gold standard. So, you can listen. And of course, Vishwasa plays flute. You can all listen to Vishwasa's recording. Some Wesleyan recordings are available. Video is also there with me. Uh, and then, um, this is it. And mainly, more than any instrumental music, first you should start with vocal music, okay? And uh, so this is our two, type, two point goals. One, you should listen to all great composers. 
and you should listen to the great composers composition by great legends not by anybody else so that should be so these names gmb shamangodi names you should be very familiar with those names uh, and then <coughs> when i teach sri saraswati i taught sri saraswati for you or i teach something else i teach manasa atalo you go back listen to gmb singing manasa atalo go back and listen madurai mane are singing sri saraswati or uh, somebody else playing ramani sir playing then you you can see oh this is there is an extra sangati here that uh, my guru didn't teach i used to do like that uh, i have this but i like this sangati by dk jayaraman sir so can i just take it the sangati by nedluri is so good even in varnam so i i took many sangatis like he sings varnam in a very different way so i like to take that sangati nedluri sings i told in previous session that hamsadvari varnam he sings one song ni ni sayati dora that ni so beautiful gamakam is ni sayati dora ni it's a very heavy carnatic gamakam is there his style so his piraka paane again i all love that my guru did not teach me that song but while if i it appeals to me i like it then you take it that's what you should you don't have to stick to me that's what i'm telling you. i teach whatever the best i think if something more better better version is available you should take it you don't have to blindly follow me okay so um great composers of carnatic music major compositions of great uh, composers performed by great legends of carnatic music like i said this is what i want all of you to focus on uh of course annamacharya is little so we are going to cover 600 years of carnatic music so from 14th century to 19th century and of this three categories are there the main carnatic music means trinities trinity music is three or the cream of carnatic music then you go to pre trinity composers post trinity composers so you all you need to understand is three categories pre trinity composers trinities post trinity composers that's all this so karnataka sangeetha pitamaha purandara dasa is called as karnataka sangeetha pitamaha so he carnatic music never uh, cannot happen without uh, our salutations to purandara dasa because he was the one who said that everybody before him were singing in their own schools in own in their own uh, small uh, pockets they were singing in different ragas but he uh, structured lessons he normalized and he said he created a uh, patantra he created a pattern for learning he started he said you should start with maya mala gola that is a correct ragam because the notes are all all varieties of notes are there you start with 15th melakatta and then he said sarali varase should be taught to the kids first 10th varase alankaram even after 600 years we are following the same so isn't that such a great thing what he did how much contribution he did of course i have told uh, the story of purandara dasa in many of my session we did one session on purandara dasa too so how he was a money lender a stingy money lender and how he became a saint so you all can there is a beautiful movie in kannada of purandara dasa by dr rajkumar it's a very nicely done movie you can watch it i think balamuri sir sang in it too so it's a beautiful movie you can watch I, and now everything is available for you you don't need any big collection everything is available on the youtube you can watch it so purandara dasa is the greatest uh, karnataka sangeetha pitama many students are joining i cannot see uh, the camera because i wanted to show you the tv also there is a big reflection on this tv maybe you can turn off this light and see if that works uh not this one i think that one you turn this one so karnataka sangeetha pitama 1484 to 1564 yes i think now they can see this and uh, 
little uh, information about purandara dasa and uh, the greatest greatness of purandara dasa is purandara dasa uh, you know usually the norm is shishyas always praise the teacher but in purandara dasa's case his guru vyasaraya vyasaraya has a composition dasarendare purandara dasaraya so among the dasas the greatest dasa is purandara dasa that's what he says he is such a great and he had many great uh, shishyas and uh, and there is also a story uh, in uh, uh, you know purandara dasa in panduranga vitala even today it is there there is a pillar where oh, once uh, a small story is that uh, purandara dasa the king suspects purandara dasa stole some jewel and all that so <clears throat> every time purandara dasa is giving a lash the murti of uh, uh, purandara vithala murti cries etc so he used to, he, they used to hear uh, the lord crying uh, every time so uh, that's how the story is there and even today the pillar is there so famous composition in carnatic music um, popularized by all legends is there is a composition called pogadira loranga pogadira loranga so let me play this and uh, of course this is um, performed as a main item in shankara bharanam in mr chapu poga with three akshara meda pude do regnaravall and all that the ms subrakshmi is uh, uh, performance is there on youtube you can listen to pogadira loranga and play like a little um, quickly i'll play let me see pogadira loranga it's a very nice composition oh see there's so many pogadira loranga so let's see who is this KVN KVN also sang this very nicely Ram It's a concert in Boston <laughs> So with the uh, Looks like the quality is good quality I actually know the violinist for this Oh yeah, yeah. Cheers Cheers Ranga it's a matter of time but i will make sure you get all this you can enjoy all this whatever i am enjoying you can enjoy this this is a beautiful uh, uh, rendition and of course there is odi baraya i wanted to play small small clips but you can listen to it later on i will share this slide uh, with all of you you can listen to it oh odi baraya vai kunta padi so all this can be performed as a main item bhairavi odibaraya of course jagado uh, jagado dharana everybody knows the most famous composition of purandara dasa jagado dharana and venkata chala nilaya a very legend has sing, sung this and uh, every student should learn this two songs and bhagya uh, dakshin dharma i have taught <laughs> many students because it's such an evergreen composition still with uh, and everybody have performed starting from the great legend sangeet kalanidhis to yesterday student everybody have performed of course um, annamma charya is little before uh, purandara dasa but uh, i took purandara dasa first because he is the karnataka sangeeta pitamaha see the problem with the purandara dasa and uh, anama charya and because it is so old 14th century we are lucky that we got his scripts at least the sahityam we got 
సంగీతం వి డెంట్ గెట్ వి డోంట్ నో వాట్ రాగం రియలీ ఒకాదిరలో రంగా మైట్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఇన్ సమ్ అదర్ రాగం దెర్ ఇస్ నో ప్రూఫ్ దట్ పురంధర దాస్ ఆఫ్ కంపోజ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ శంకరాభరణం దే హ్ బీన్ సింగింగ్ ఇన్ శంకరాభరణం సో వి అజ్యూమ్ దట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బీ ఇన్ శంకరాభరణం సో సేమ్ థింగ్ విత్ అన్నమాచార్య నేదరూరి గారు గ్రేట్ కా కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఫర్ అన్నమాచార్య హీ రియలీ brought out hanumacharya was not known <laughs> even though he is such a great composer because of nedunuri big legends sang like ms subrakshmi amma went to nedunuri garu and learned this nanati baduku natakam there is one uh, interview by nedunuri krishnamurthy somebody asks and uh, uh, the question is one song brought you sangeetha kalanidhi and what is that song is that song is nanati baduku natakam in raga revathi beautiful song and uh, that's anumacharya and that song is composed by nedanuri uh, gar of course muddu gare yashoda i have taught to many students you know bhavayami gopala balam if you have not listened to it i have listened maybe 600 700 times uh, for one season i really got hooked to that song by ms subrakshmi amma i think nobody can sing like ms subrakshmi amma this bhavayami gopala balam of course many many uh, have attempted to sing but her feeling i don't think anybody can bring that feeling to this song so if you have not listened this is your first go to song <laughs> listen to bhavayami gopala balam it's all over the place uh, it's so beautifully rendered with so much uh, bhava let me quickly play maybe a little bit of bhavayami and little bit of nanati tu tu nanati baduku natakam tu nedanuri krishnamurthy see we got him by only రమణి సార్ ప్లేస్ దిస్ సో బ్యూటిఫుల్లీ ఆల్సో హీ యూస్ టు సే హీ యూస్ టు లవ్ నేర్ మరి never is not enough we will continue 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 kaanaga kannadi devan ke mo kasha kaadi tu ho natakamu kaan there is one verse ututayu nijamu povutayu nijamu natnadi ini pani natakam it's beautiful 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 lyrics we have no comparison uh, okay bhavaya me gopal balam uh, of course you can listen to it uh, i'm tempted to play it little bit <laughs> is it's 
really. I, I don't know, simple things, I go crazy with that. <laughs> so it's, uh, that is another thing, very small, simple, like even KSGs have placed some small things in mud. Uh, I can give anything to it. Like that, I you have to enjoy music like that. Uh, that should really, um, uh, you should uh, pay attention to small, finer details. Then, you know, if you're like really, you are taking a back seat and just listening, you won't see all this. Uh, like that landing to sir, I don't know how many, how many people will notice it. It is all good in a generalized form. But if you are like, that is why you need a guru to point, hey, this is what I love. And you should also see, check it out. That's what, that's my job and that's what I'm trying to tell. So, this is Anamacharya. Uh, of course, Kshetragnya. We used to learn this for uh, Bidwat uh, senior exams. You know, in India, in Karnataka, they used to have this junior, senior, Bidwat, all these exams. I used to do all this. I got rank in all of them. So, Kshetragnya Padas, they teach. So, again, 17th century. And uh, Uttukada Venkata Subhair, you all know Alai Paayude. Everybody sings it. Alai Paayude. And this Kalinga Nartana Tillana is something everybody uh, popularized. Uh, actually, Nida Mangalam is the one who really sang that in that fashion, original fashion. But uh, Kalinga Nartana Tillana popularized by Aruna Sairam. Now everybody knows that. Prose comes. And that is very, very uh, popular. And then I, I'm quickly going because we don't have time and we might also need like five minutes. For question time. Pachimiriam Adi Appayar. And uh, if any, uh, a very Carnatic music student should learn this Bhairavi Varnam, Atatala Varnam by Bhairavi, is done by this Adi Appayar, Reboni. That, that is the first thing. Atatala Varnam, that is the first Varnam we, I learned. We all learned. Beautiful Varnam and uh, of course Ramani sir, I have performed, you begin this Atatala Varnam, your concert is such a uh, opening, grand opening for a concert. So Bhairavi Varnam should be in your uh, learning list, first, first wish list. You should all make, I make one uh, to be learned, to, to learn list. Like oh, I have so many songs in my list, whenever I hear somebody good uh, songs, I put it there. So, um, we had uh, this workshop by Gayatri Venkatwagman. She taught Devi Jagadhanani. I don't know that Prithi. So, that's in my wish list. Okay, I have to learn that Devi Jagadhanani in Shankarabhanam. Shankarabhanam means we play all popular Tyagaraja, Sadaraga, Sudha, all that. So, um, Akshay Lingro, Boham. It's a beautiful composition by Dikshita. So, uh, but uh, Devi like that you have to have a wish list. I want to learn Bhagavad I want to learn Bhavayavi. Whatever you listen, whatever I say, if you listen and if you like, you should put that in your, uh, add to your cart for checkout. You have to do that. Okay. So then Sadashiva Pramedra also. Beautiful compositions of 18th century. Then comes Shama Shastri. 1762 to 1827. I'm coming in that order of all that. Shama Shastri. What can I say? We have all several of his posters here. He is he is Carnatic music, heavy, pure, no compromise. So Muthuswami Dikshitar, Jagaraja uh, Swami are known for their simplicity. They compose small songs which uh, any student can sing. Shama Shastri, <laughs> he is like, he, he was, of the three, he was more wealthy. <laughs> Jagaraja Swami and all, they, they ate doing Munchavati, very poor. <laughs> Shama Shastri was the richest among the Trinities. So he did not, he had a, a roof over his head, comfortable uh, food for his composed on Devi. Amma, my Amma, my favorite Kriti, my most favorite Kriti of Shama Shastri is my Amma in Raga Ahiri. Of course, by the way, if you have not heard Mali sir play Ahiri, you should hear. These are all, uh, what can I say? I am so blessed that. I saw 
Mali Sar perform live. I spent time with him. All these legends. I don't think uh, this is the greatest time for Carnatic music. You, I personally, I heard all these legends like um, Mali Sar, Lal Guri Sar, Dev Nori Sar, and spent time uh, with them. Uh, I think that's the DKJ Sar. I put Tambura for KVN Sar. DKJ Sar. So many. All these are legends. That's why I don't go past this. My contemporaries. Of course, I listen here and there, but this is where my heart is. I like to listen to them. So this is a picture of Shama Shastri. Uh, Shama Shastri composed uh, Swarajatis. That's all he, he composed. Swarajatis. He didn't compose any note or anything like that. Like Deep Shikar and all. He composed Bhairavi Swarajati. I've taught it to many students. I play. I love it. But of course, while talking Bhairavi Swarajati, uh, my good friend. Uh, a Kanyakumari girl, violinist, she is also a Sangeeta Kalaligi. She played 108 times non stop when there was like some uh, drought and all that. Every time when something, when there is, she thinks this Swarajati has that much power. I also feel that Swarajati has so much power. There is one line in that Swarajati Pata Kumala Nutirchi, uh, it comes like that. So every time I sing that, I feel. I'm being super washed like that car wash thing. Every time I sing, I feel like all my previous sins go off like that. He sings in that way. That, that tonality, that, uh, that music uh, phrase, everything, that place, I don't know. It's something amazing. I feel like, oh my God, I sing, let me sing. Whenever I sing Bhairavi Sarjati, I don't stop it one time, I do it. One more, especially if not the whole one, that one I do at least two, three times. I feel like all your sins are washed off with that. So it's, it's such a great Swarajati, you should listen. Maybe how much time we have? Uh, quickly we'll play one. There are three Swarajatis by here, by uh, Shama Shastri's. You should listen. Okay, let, let, you please listen to it. I will, I'll put the slide, I'll make a movie, you should listen. Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, there's no, not much time. I'll, I'll play Mayama. Mayama, you should listen. Slow. And the guy, and the great legend to listen to this is uh, Kevin. I put Tambura when he sang Mayama, and that was like, that uh, memory will not, uh, it will be with me till I die. In Mysore concert, I put Tambura to KVN sir and he sang Mayama, which I will never forget. See how this is. Just uh, imagine, you don't have to do anything, you just imagine how his. Uh, mind uh, set is there was when he composed my Connection. Mali sir, he 
said anything is possible. He redefined re and played Ahiri. Nobody before him, Pallanadam, Sanjeev Rao, uh, Sarva Shastri, all they were playing Swaminathan Pillai, I think. They, they, they were all uh, performing, but they were performing only easy Mohanam, Hamsadvani kind of Kritis, what Api and all that. Mali sir came and anything like <laughs> Begada, Kambodhi, Ahiri, Ahiri, nobody have, had touched before. He was the first one to touch Ahiri and play, bring out even more beauty, whatever vocal and beyond he did. So, um, Mali sir, you listen to it uh, all on YouTube, is there, everything is there. Whatever you don't have, I have, I can give it to you. All I am, I am just waiting for you to ask. If you ask, I will give you everything. Okay. Birana Varalichi, there are many, every composition is a gem and he didn't compose much, 80, 90 compositions, that's all he composed, versus Tyagaraja, 800 compositions, Swami Dikshit also 700, 800 compositions, Shama Shastri only 80, 90 compositions, every one, every one of them is a masterpiece. Our favorite, most favorite um, of all the composers, in Carnatic music, Trinity is uh, Trinity music is Carnatic music. In the Trinities, Tagaraja, iconic, you know. Tagaraja's music, what can we say? So he lived 80 years, 1767 to 1847, composed so many beautiful. <coughs> and he was the one who came up with beautiful ragas. Ragas like um, even. Uh, Bindamarini, Bahudari, many, many, many ragas, difficult ragas. I don't know how he came, Jayanta Shri. All that is just uh, mind boggling. And, uh, uh, I put Moksha Mughalada here. If you really want to, very philosophical meaning, and uh, Saramati itself is very spiritual raga. I think the most spiritual raga is Saramati. Uh, and uh, Saramati, in that the best composition Tyagaraja gave to the world is Moksha Mughalada. Sakhaka, that uh, some people sing legends, oh my god. This is something, uh, you, uh, no point in talking about, you should listen. Moksha See, there are like every song I have like 200 people performing. <laughs> very nice. The moment you play, you are saying loudly. Very good. about Veena Vadana, one of the charmin. Sangeeta Vihinu Laku Moksha Mughalada. The one who are not, <laughs> uh, who don't enjoy music, will they get moksha? He questions. 
वीणा वादना यू कैन से बोथ वीणा वादना एंड देन प्राणा एंड अल्लाह ऑल दैट ही डस ब्यूटीफुल कंपोजिशन यू नीड टाइम टू रियली वन कंपोजिशन वी शुड टेक एंड रियली एनालाइज ऑल इट रिपीट अपॉन एंड एंजॉय एंड आई नेवर रियलाइज दैट देयर इज सो मच व्हेन आई वाज अ स्टूडेंट I used to just um, go by the musicality of the song. So, we'll just have to say, oh, small short song in between song to render. I never realized that Shanan Mukam Samavedam Shanan Mukam Sharma gave during one of our camps. He, I, I have the recording. Please listen to it. One hour he spoke about one song. So, we'll just have to say, and I didn't know that there is so much, <laughs> so much uh, in depth. And he says. Oh, I can go on forever. There is so much more to cover. He spoke about Shobhana Shaptaswara, and uh, there is so much insight into it. I didn't. I. I. That was like mind-boggling for me. It is available for all of you to listen to. And then I put Nagumama because this is the first Kriti. But uh, you know, um, just one composition we can do many sessions. Anyway, there's so much to learn. We have to do. We have to do. Tiruthi Agaraja, he went to Tirupati. Agaraja Swami went to Tirupati for Pankajeshwara Darshana, and they put the curtain. And he is waiting, waiting, waiting. They are not opening it. Alankaram. Sometimes it happens, right? You are in a hurry to go, and then this alankaram never ends, and uh, like you don't know what to do. So he sang Tiruthi Agaraja. Then he converted beautifully. ोटेशन Uh, and i sang in one of the competitions i really worked i still remember and there was like one senior musician velakawadi um, shrinivas aingar i think uh they were brothers and one of them was like really old and he said i never knew this is a song tyagaraja sang while dying mm. or he this is a song which he composed in the last part of his life na jeeva dhara so jeeva dhara comes in that so i was saying why are you singing this composition for a competition you are bringing the, the this big song for a competition like that he was asking but of course he gave me the first prize uh, i sang this in vocal so <coughs> but he was like oh my god this na jeeva dhara like that this big composition so Putu Swami Dikshit. Quickly, I'm going to cover, and of course, we will spend more time on each of them, on each of the song. It is a never-ending journey, interesting journey. Guru Guha, Tyagaraja, Tyagaraja. He kept everything simple, simple kritis, very straightforward. Just bhakti, 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 bhakti. Tyagaraja Swami, nothing else, and no, all these difficulties and all that. Anybody can learn Tyagaraja Swami. Uh, anybody who learns music with me for three months, I, the first kriti of the Agarwal Swami I teach is Raminchuva Revarura, right? Raminchuva Revarura, Raghutama Niluvina, like that. So, uh, kriti cannot be easy than this. And Balamuni says, "Sing it in concert. What more do you need? You don't need any. <laughs> uh, it is a concert-worthy composition which anybody after three months of training can learn. It's that easy." But Dikshitar's composition, especially Shyamal Shastri, forget about it. You need at least three, four years of training, four, five years of training before you even touch anything of Shyamal Shastri. You can listen until then. You listen. Guru Guha was Dikshitar's uh, mudra. We have all three, three meters picture here, and of course, Meena Shri Mehmudam Dehi. He uh, Dikshitar used to play veena. Great uh, people like this play veena. Dikshitar used to play veena. Raghavendra Swami played veena. All this, uh, of course, Saraswati veena. They all played veena and they used to sing. 
even i have seen many uh, old timers when i was a kid all veena artists they sing and play we don't see that now happen it's so difficult but they used to do a concert complete concert singing i have heard live whole concert they sing and play uh, it's such a tough big big thing but uh, dikshita used to play veena and that's how the meenakshi memudam dehi is in purvi kalyadi in that there one line comes meena lochani pasha mochani that he sang and that's when he left his last breath me na meena lochani pasha mochani manini katam bhavana asi శ్రీకృష్ణ భజ and then shank chakra gada paratma vana malam shank chakra gada because i heard everybody has shamangudi shivasa oh my god even shamangudi medunuri gar likes him so much when i met him he was talking about shamangudi sir's greatness and he was imitating his singing also it's such a <coughs> i was very lucky i played in one cd one recording so two days i enjoyed sang with medunuri uh, gar such a blessing he did some anamacharya project and i was part of it happened vina kuppayar every varnam there are many varnams by vina kuppayar of course vinayaka ninu vina vinayaka ninu vina bro tu vere varunnaru ignara ja vinayaka i taught you right vinayaka i think that was favorite song of mine that's vina kuppayar gopaladasa was his mudra maharaja swatitrnal look 1813 to 1847 he lived only that much and he was such a great scholar composed songs on padmanabha padmanabha was this mudra patnam subramanya year 1845 to 1917 venkatesha was his mudra he was yagaraja's disciples disciple patnam subramanya year. i love his compositions great chittaswaras all that many beautiful compositions we come to papanasham shivan papanasham shivan is we have recordings of papanasham shivan papanasham shivan also sang in movies nandana there is nandana chaitam there is one movie tamil movie you can see on youtube papanasham shivan sang on it acted and sang on it i think sang but he was known as the tyagaraja's version for tamil tamil tyagaya they call him great compositions <coughs> ennadavam everybody must have heard copy he got inspiration it is a very similar to jagadodarna ennadavam shaidane keshoda great legend such thing and uh, lalpudi sir has played papanasham shivan's composition and he has accompanied paparasam shivan so what uh, how great it should be i i that's like thrilling to me i see main artist like great artist like dk jayaraman sir singing mona kalyana tilana while lalpudi sir is accompanying i have heard la- on stage while doing tambura i used to get goosebumps when i when that used to happen 
మెదనూరి గారు సింగ్స్ రాగ దిస్ తిలానా తిలం తిలానా విత్ లాల్గుడి సార్ అకంపెనింగ్ హిమ్ రాగేశ్రీ వి సింగ్ సో బ్యూటిఫుల్ రాగేశ్రీ తిలానా విత్ లాల్గుడి సార్ దట్ మస్ట్ బి సంథింగ్ అమేజింగ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ సెందిల్ ఆండవన్ ఇస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫేవరెట్ ఫేవరెట్ కృతి సెందిల్ ఆండవన్ శివ కుమరన్ ఐ కెన్ ప్లే దట్ కర్పగమే దట్ ఇస్ ఇన్ మదే మోహి ఆర్ దేర్ మెనీ కాంపోజిషన్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఐ థాట్ a little bit for today i just uh, let me play sendil and our um, uh, sendil and avan shiva kumaran sendil and avan chetra pati bala subramanian sings the song mein mazaa such a pleasure doing this great composers all of them i left uh, I, in fact due to lack of time i rushed the slides i left few of the composers uh but we can always do uh, this session always so it was such a pleasure doing this for all of you um if there's any questions i can quickly take 